hair done. There was something going on between us. Like you for sure felt it. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, I'm Freesha. As you guys know, I just moved last week. We did get a lot done, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, this vlog will probably be very sporadic and all over the place. An accurate depiction of where my mind's been at. <laughs> we are constantly unboxing things. There's just so much garbage everywhere, and <sighs> But to give ourselves some credit, we did get so much done in the past week, and we are settling in very well. And I do wanna show you guys all the progress we've made but before we get on with today's video i want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor warby parker i'm so excited to be partnering up with them i remember when they first launched it was like the most groundbreaking coolest brand that totally disrupted the eyewear industry because they made the whole process of ordering prescription glasses so easy warby parker offers eyeglasses sunglasses contact lenses and even eye exams and they are committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in-store. Their glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. And the best thing about Warby Parker is their free home try-on program. So you can order five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free, and it comes with a prepaid return label. So I have my try-on kit right here. All I did was take a really easy and simple quiz online, and this just arrived at my door. feel nice. This pair is called Duncan, and I think we found our match. All I have to do is send this box back with the prepaid label and place an order for the Duncan frames with my prescription. You can try five pairs of new glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash freesia. Everything will be linked below. I'm at Century City Mall to meet you again for lunch at Den Kinda killed it. We actually did a lot of work. <laughs> I feel like we could like finish it. This is actually our first time meeting and I feel like I've known Yuyan for a while because we're both from Queens and like we have a lot Queens of girls. mutual friends. So it was fun to connect, but she's leaving me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> me. My car has a safety recall. Audi vehicles from 2017 through 2018. 19 don't quote me on this i'll have a safety recall for the passenger seat so i took that into the dealership and i came home to this these are salt and pepper mills from menu space i love menu space so much i've wanted these for a while but just couldn't justify the price but since we moved into this new space i'm just like whatever happy housewarming freesia these are a lot lighter than I thought. And you can change the modes. Time to replace the Kirkland bottles. Oh, okay. All right, sounds easy enough. Wow, pepper smells so good. <gasps> oh my God, honey. Today's not We're good. Cute. I went in to the hair salon yesterday. I got my hair done because it was in dire need of a refresh. So we brought up the highlights and added some money pieces to frame the face. And I'm loving it. I also wanted to give my hair some more movement. So I asked to put in some long layers and I think it's looking really nice. It's crazy how much of a difference hair can make in your appearance and your mood. We decided to come to Home Depot and buy some outdoor plants at 9 p.m. Oh, we could return them. <laughs> got a jungle back here. Just got our IKEA delivery in.
have a very special guest, Miss <laughs> Esther. She's in town, so I thought we'd do a little truth or drink with some vino. This is a Pinot Noir 2019. I know nothing Yum. about wine. Ooh, it's like a very classy truth or drink. Yes. Who do you think is better in bed? I don't know. I don't know what you do in bed. <laughs> I've never asked details. I don't know what you do either. You don't know what I'm like either. I feel I like you could be it. like a secret killer. Like, <laughs> killer. Let's just answer it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just say you. <laughs> Cause I guess you're more experimental. Okay, find me. Are we, okay. What was the last thing you Googled? Check. Last thing I Googled was furniture. I looked up City Island Seafood. I wanted to go. Oh, oh yeah. Who's the last person you searched on Instagram? Let's see. <laughs> Why is all of mine food? <laughs> mine is a furniture brand. <laughs> it's literally all furniture. <laughs> what was your first impression of each other? We took a boxing class together and then we went to eat mm -hmm. food after. And I just remember you being really quiet. Yeah. So I thought you didn't like me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, she doesn't want me to be here. No, 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 that's not <laughs> Our first real interaction uh, was a boxing class with a bunch of other people. And, and then when I sat down with you, I was like, oh, like she's really chill and nice. But I was quiet because we were with a couple other guys yeah. and she was like new. So I was like, okay, I'll let them like do their thing. And like, cause they were asking and answering so many questions. So I was like, I'm just gonna enjoy my fa and like yeah, <laughs> let yeah. them have their conversation. That that was fun though. Yeah, that was that was fun. Favorite and least favorite quality about each other. Favorite, I think, is the panjam meyok. How do I say that in English? Yeah, what does that mean in English? The unexpected charm. Is that like the direct <laughs> translation? So like, what I mean by that is like a lot of people know you as someone who's really tough. I guess mm. like a strong personality. I mean, you do, but I think what a lot of people don't know is that you're a lot more empathetic than people know, and you are a lot. You're a lot easier to talk to than people think. You know what I mean? Like people are like scared to talk to you, but then yeah. once you do, like it's fine. That was like a pleasant surprise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then least favorite. Oh my god, I just blinked. Which oh, one? Let me remember. The least favorite was. Oh wait, wait it was a good, good one. one. What was it? Oh, the my least favorite is sometimes I don't know what you're thinking. Mm. Cause like you know how you said the whole thing about like collecting data sometimes yeah. and like keeping things in. Yeah. I think I definitely do notice that because like I know your mind is like turning and you're <laughs> analyzing everything, but I'm just like okay, like what is she actually thinking, you know? And like yeah. I won't know unless I like pull it out of you. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, your turn. Favorite thing about you is the softness you have and the kindness you have. You're like a light in the room in my opinion. <laughs> you are always good vibes and very positive. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the context. But a lot of people will take that sort of personality type and think they're somewhat easy to walk all over mm -hmm. and stuff, but you are so not like mm -hmm. that. You still are very strong-willed and tenacious and will not let people do like take shit from you or like do shit to you. <laughs> oh wait, that's so funny. We said the opposite things then. Oh. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like that combination. It's I guess it's also like the Panjam mm -hmm. a bit. And then my least favorite thing is sometimes you put your other people's like needs and desires before your own mm -hmm. i kind of wish you would like mm -hmm. i, I yeah, get what you're trying to say yeah like take lead and make decisions more mm -hmm. i guess and it's usually group settings i feel like mm -hmm. yeah because yeah. i feel like on one-on-one -on -one, like you'll be like no, no no like let's just do this or i'm gonna do this but then like even if you want to do something you'll still do whatever like the other person wants to do or like mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah these are easy but yeah if you guys ever fought give us the dates mm -hmm. How would we describe this? Yeah, nothing is worth drinking. Yeah, we've definitely had disagreements. Is that like a fight? We never fought, like we never like yelled at each other for anything. No. We've had like feelings hurt yeah. on both ends. There was definitely a period of time where there was something going on between us. Like you mm -hmm. for sure felt it that I was putting distance yeah. between us. And then it was the time you came to New York when you brought it up. Yeah. But then by that point, I had already like dealt with my negative emotions and I was like moved on from it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was able to be honest with you and like tell you. Mm -hmm. So I think the timing of it was kind of good mm -hmm. for us because we ended up talking about it at Soju House. <laughs> we were yeah. both definitely hurt 
by certain things we may have yeah. done or said and no one brought it up so it yeah. piled up it was like a uh, domino effect almost yeah because like i felt like hurt by something so then i built that up and never brought it up and then i would start reacting with that negativity to certain things that you would do or say and then that would cause you to start piling up negativity towards me and then yeah. you would then react to me it was just a lot of like unspoken things but there was definitely tension that was just like building and then what i do is i tend to put distance and then you felt that too i felt the distance and since we were like together and catching up i was like okay i'm just gonna address the elephant in the room and then like this is someone i care about might as well just like talk about it honestly at the end of the day like no one is like trying to do anything intentionally no one is malicious in this situation and it's just a matter of interpreting situations differently and like not really yeah. understanding where the other person is coming from so i was like if we have that conversation then it's gonna be like you know. yeah and then i was so glad you brought it up because i don't know how i would have brought it up because i felt like the moment had already passed mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it worked out in the end yeah so we had our makeup conversation over soju and i was crying in public <laughs> no one no one noticed though because there were so many yeah, smaller we were, conversations going yeah, on at the table yeah. like secretly <laughs> yeah, i was like oh no <laughs> i cry because it's almost like a relief mm. it's like i'm finally like letting my releasing my feelings that i've been like holding for so long once i feel heard and accepted by the other person i'm like oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this is what i mean at the, the pun down is <laughs> like you're such a softy and like mm -hmm. you feel a lot i also get more and more emotional like as i get older i mean so. yeah me too that was i remember leaving that conversation and like okay like i'm really glad we talked about it yeah that definitely drew us closer yeah. yeah, yeah. I think after that conversation. Have you ever really disliked someone they were dating and didn't tell the other about it? So like, one of our. Oh, just there's us someone, two. There's someone I didn't like that you dated. <laughs> <laughs> Who will get married first? I feel like we're kind of in a similar stage. Like mm. neither of us are really thinking about it. Yeah. I guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if we had to choose, okay, I'll fine. choose you. Okay, fine. I would choose me then. Okay, fine. Yeah. Who can drink more? <laughs> I think that's but, kind of obvious. But now, not as much. I don't know. No, there is but no still. way you'll ever get down to my level. <laughs> Do your boyfriends get along? Yeah, they get along. I don't think they've spent enough time to like even have conflict though. Yeah. But in general, I feel like they're both pretty chill guys. Yeah, they're both think. easygoing. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. <laughs> so cute. Just drink. <laughs> We're just drinking because now. <laughs> another day, another Costco run. Wait, do you have your membership card? Yeah, it's in my card holder. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Costco official. We're in the process of slowly building out the roof. So we're adding plants, an outdoor rug, maybe some lighting. What else do we need? Canopy, like a, a shade structure. Oh yeah, but we need something windproof, so that's gonna be the. I don't know how to and do that. String lights. I saw Costco had string lights. Actually. String lights, some lavender, more plants. We came to IKEA instead because Costco's outdoor rugs were not that cute. Cuties. We got a lime and lemon tree. We got the Road Lund outdoor rug. This was $109. We didn't want to buy anything for over $100 because it's an outdoor rug and we don't like, it's not too precious to us, but this is all they had.
for now we brought a temporary dining table from what's it called Costco we got one of those foldable lifetime tables that we can also eventually use maybe as like a beer pong table <laughs> I don't know we got four of the cheapest folding chairs from Ikea so that we at least have like a temporary dining setup and we can always use the extra seating drill some holes in these planters I did it! Wow, our first dinner. 